Mm -hmm. Kicking off of open on A. Then camera one for a three shot. 30 seconds, mic check, Friendy. One, two, mic check, one, two. Thank you, Friendy. Oh, uh, what's the snake cam look like right now? Let's see. 20 seconds, like? I'm, I'm doing it. Could we pan that? 15. 15 till open on A. Going back in five, four, three, two, one. Live from the Watch Fox one. Studios, start your day the local way with Good Day Columbia. Taking one. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Thanks so much for joining us this morning and some new details overnight coming in. You know, I'll tell you, violence seems to be uh, in the wind today. Today was Ready stories three, uh, you know, all taking three. in, in uh, Charlotte, in Atlanta, and of course, um, D.C., but actually right here close to home, um, sheriff's deputies, Richardson County Sheriff's deputies, getting into a, uh, one, a, a chase. One. It became a foot pursuit. Um, they gave foot chase to a suspect. He shot at deputies. Uh, deputies returned fire oh, wow. and ended up killing the suspect. Um, this happened about we left 10 o'clock last night. I'm um, just off of Decker Boulevard, the Woodfeld uh, area. Near, uh, How many graphics for this? Because Tyler Boulevard. just blew it in, right? And it's unfortunate. You know, you start seeing two, take two. things. People running for police officers, doing things they shouldn't do. And then, you know, uh, just thinking about that and now thinking about our nation's capital where people are waking up without a loved one right. Right? Snake. because 12 people are Take dead snake. because yeah. of this uh, gunman who police have identified as Aaron um, Alexis. Alexis. Aaron Alexis. Alexis. Thank you, Aaron Alexis, as the one Ready who two, went two. on this rampage. And you always try to put together Ready why, one. what is in taking this person's one. mind that you would take another life just either as if it's a joke to you or if it's just fun right. and games or what Ready is two, the, what is the two. purpose? And that's what I was going to say, like, they're, you know, Snake families are waking up, up without family members, but they're also waking up without a reason as to why they've lost that family member. Yeah. You know, in, in these cases, the suspect, in the overnight shooting here, the Let's case of the Navy Janet. Yard in D.C., right. The suspect's Ready, dead, Janet, so Janet. we are only going to get speculation from here. You know, we're only going to get signs from family members or relatives of, you know, Ready, how they one, were acting up until this one. point. But we'll never really know. Not wow. to say that, you know, I'd much rather them die than innocent people die, you know, because uh, they have sure. inflicted this violence. But we'll never really Let's know two why again. and get to the bottom of it Ready, three, to stop three. things like this or prevent things like this from happening one in the minute. future. You know, I think a lot of times, like in a suspect mm -hmm. case, you know, they, they're trying to avoid apprehension. They're, they're thinking that but it, it never ends well i mean you you, you take right, it in a case where one. you're running from the police not even not where Queuing you're uh, you're Chroma you wall. know onslaughting a massacre on innocent people but in a situation where you're yeah. followed by the police it's not going to end well when you shoot keep at the police friendly. you know it's friendly. Friendly. there seems friendly. to be this lack of responsibility yeah. you know i'm going to run get ready out of one, here take one. you know what take your medicine and that's actually, some of the things that was happening yesterday. We're hearing their reports of, you know, engaging with police officers at the Navy Yard. Two, two, two. Um, reason is why this the suspected gunman, the gunman is, is dead because of that. And coming off the hills of, you One know, Sandy, up. coming off the hills of the Aurora, Quickcast Colorado is shooting next. in. Court Hood. Court Hood. Exactly. Yeah. And it's, it's one of those things where you got to remember what my mom says. You have to just be in prayer at all times. Absolutely. I, I mean, you're talking about wow. 200. I was looking up some of the stats. 200 mass killings, and mass killings are when the death toll is from 4 to 32. So we've had 200 mass killings since 2006. That's, alone. that's massive. Yeah, alone. Is that just yeah. here in the U.S.? In the um, U.S. 200 mass killings. I can't even think of 200, God. I guess. Well, I guess we're not going to Yeah. Because, like I said, Somehow it's get the four, weather from that. four deaths to 32. Right. So, you know, there are plenty that are happening. Yeah, to but the major weather? ones are, of course, what makes the media. Sure. Yeah. Oh, goodness mm -hmm. gracious. Well, ours are going to go out to yeah. the families. Uh, Absolutely. And even, even the suspect, whatever the story was, I'm sure he was yeah. behind you, loved right. one, even though he made a bad choice. Yeah. I'm sure he's like a family. They're going. Picking up the pieces. What happened? Yeah. So. Guys, well, in uh, better news, anyway, our forecast, there it is for you, seven-day, not too bad, it got really nice, we'll get some more details for you in just a couple of minutes, but uh, we're looking at 80 degrees today, you can see that cooling trend, we were, you know, high 80s, I think we topped out at 92 yesterday morning, uh, but we got the cooling trend coming in, and this frontal boundary is going to bring a little Top unstable story weather animations today, up next on A, chance of rain. We had a little the news open video on B, then friendly and, on uh, it's going to dry out for the rest of the week, the look at those temperatures, 80 degrees, 84 on Thursday, we're going to start warming up just a little bit, and just okay. kind of the, conversely, as we start to get a little warmer, as the low front Seven, comes in, actually brings six, a little more 
more heat, five, unstable weather again, brings four, that rain, and we three, start drying back out two, again. Right? And, and, All right, Todd, thank you so much for that. Check your top stories this morning B. at 603. 13 people confirmed dead following a mass shooting in the nation's capital. This what began the as another Monday morning quickly turned into a day of terror in one of the nation's Super. most historic military precincts. Reporter Brad Bell has the latest on what exactly happened Ready pack on in Navy Yard in Washington, D.C. Take it back. The workday had just begun. It was 8.15 when the gunman opened fire inside Navy Yard Building 197. We saw the man down the hall with a rifle. Super. And he aimed at us. He shot high and missed. And we Losing were all super. yelling for people to get out of the building. And nine so year remaining. people ran. Navy Commander Tim Gyrus helped guide the evacuation and then witnessed an unfathomable horror. Full screen the is next. The man next to him was hit and fell. Heard two gunshots. I looked in the direction where the gunshots were coming from. I looked down. The guy next to me who was standing talking to me was down in the ground. At about that time, seven minutes after Freddy, the first double call checking, for help, you can see prompter police on three, were rushing right? in. Thank it you. It certainly was uh, the, one of the super. worst things we've seen in Washington, D.C. Multiple victims. Losing there was super. gunfire is still going Full on. Full screen's The officers Full ran towards next. the gunfire and quickly found the gunman, now identified about 45 as remaining. year old civilian IT contractor, Aaron Alexis. Alexis was from Texas, but had been working here since August. He would not surrender. Uh, there was multiple engagements with the suspect. In one final gun battle, both an MPD and a U.S. Park police okay. officer hit the suspect multiple times. He fell dead. But nobody could be sure he was acting alone. So helicopters swooped in to evacuate a wounded person from the roof of the building. Thousands of employees at the Navy Sea Systems Command sheltered in place for hours as police went door to door. Is it getting door. quieter? The death toll stands at 13, 15. including Alexis. It started louder. A dozen, including an MPD. D officer are injured. Strange. The chief Kathy Lanier says 15 standby full screen. Far worse. There's no question he would have kept shooting. All right, here we go. President Obama has ordered that all United Cues States times flags be flown now. at half staff out of respect Shorter than the advertised. Yes, that's good. shootings yeah. from now until sunset. Ready, animation Friday. on B, wipe B. Back here close Ready to the home now. Columbia man says he was shot by some guys Ready trying to rob him. Video but on folks, a. it wasn't for cash. He says they were trying to steal his dogs. He says when he confronted one of the up. suspects, one of them took out a gun and Losing shot him. Super, the victim Hugh then took Sot. off, running across the street Sot's to a neighbor's B. house for help. He was taken to a hospital after being out shot. Out Q is back. called 911. Police say the victim's injury is non-life-threatening. I had three vein, vein, like three shots. So I hopped up and I came downstairs. And when I OTS came downstairs, is next. he was already Losing across super. the street on the neighbor's porch, laying there. So he got shot in the back. They call 911. There you go. Well, again, authorities say there are at least three suspects in this case. Anyone who ready can to help police, you're urged to contact Crime Stoppers at 1 888 Crime SC. Taken to. Richland County authorities releasing the name of the victim. Thanks for changing that the last hour. Yeah, on I taken to. Yeah. 36 year old Damien Labry of West Columbia. I still think it's Larrabee. When he crashed his motorcycle on the eastbound side of the highway near Bush River Road. Deputies say he Fair was enough. not wearing a helmet. Losing super, taking full screen. This man, 53 year old Michael Anthony Still of Gaston, is behind bars in Lexington County next. this morning. He's charged with abusing a child. Deputies say Still hit the three year old several times Sunday night causing a hip fracture and other injuries. Still was allegedly home alone with the boy and responsible for his well-being. And three. The city of Columbia may be on the hook for Packs more than $50 million dollars over the next three years. That's if officials want the Bull Street development to pack. become a reality. Fox News obtained a memo from the city attorney warning mm. the city council it's actually a minute about the 37, risk so to the plan. Rob Stark there's 10 the seconds. There you go. In this memo obtained by Watch Fox News, Columbia City Attorney Ken Gaines warning City Council not to approve the Bull Street development deal. The letter dated July 8th sent to Mayor Steve Benjamin and City Council members one day before they voted 4-2 to two to approve a plan that would turn the old state mental health property into a sprawling commercial and residential center. This is a very unique investment and despite so, our uh, attorney's experience, this is a, a deal that's very different from anything that it? any of them have ever dealt with. In the memo, Gaines warns council the agreement with Greenville developer Bob Hughes could make the city of Columbia responsible for more than $50 million a in just minute three years. Standard out, out, parking garages that need to be funded by the city Coming back are the on biggest three. concern. The sheer amount um, may be a little bit uh, appalling to some people. The reality is that this is a, a very positive investment. Uh, for a very positive return for the city of Columbia. But Councilman Mobadora says the people of Columbia are on the hook for $71 million 
We have no idea where the money will come from. That's bad public policy. Columbia deserves better. This document from a city council work session lays out where city leaders could potentially get the cash. Almost two dozen different sources tied to taxes, including hospitality, alcohol and tobacco taxes, and water and sewer funds. <laughs> we were presented with uh, 17 different financing options. Those financing options were even presented Raffle at the tickets. council meeting. City leaders say the development of the 181-acre campus Checking is the, the couch largest cushions. in any major downtown area east of the Mississippi. The in downtown Columbia, Wait a minute. Rob Starkey. Watch Here Fox you go on News. Three. Taking three. Columbia Mayor Steve Benjamin Full releasing a statement last night in response to last week's leak of a confidential memo. It yeah. reads in Full part, I find it regrettable that a member of city council would release a document in an attempt to mislead the public. I assume yeah, this is one. what we can expect during back on three again. season. City Freeze officials up. expect full development of the campus to take about 20 years. The Video agreement on comes after the Bull Street next. property spent on 10 a. years on the market and another two years and a half in the negotiation with the developer. A's the up. Columbia City Council will take another vote this week on whether to put a referendum on the November ballot. Hey, the Tyler, if you get a second, could you double check that uh, want a strong mayor you're system. showing up on right now, It's run by a council manager system. Ready, one, take one. Well, over the next few months, Alvin S. Glenn Detention Center will be scrutinized by auditors. And take we decided that B. an outside agency needed to examine the jail's operations next on in terms of issues like employee salaries and inmate care. So Losing when will we get answers super. from this audit? Currently, the uh, salary study is underway. Wrapped um, we up, hope by mid October to have the operation and management study Losing ongoing. Super. That's going to be a four month process. So, we're looking at probably mid February, March to have this all wrapped up. And okay. The issue of mental health care arose partly due to the fact that the jail was brutally beaten by a guard back in February. Take B. On to your state house watch this morning. New developments in the South Carolina State Revenue Department hacking scandal. Ready A, take Last it. year, more than 6.4 million Animations state residents up next had their confidential B. information compromised. Now, the wipe. Experian credit monitoring company says it needs more money to monitor the credit information <coughs> on the more than 1.5 million people who signed up for the free service. Experion received more than 12 million from the state last October, but Ooh. says the added costs prevent it from continuing the service. Ready B, taking B, what? In your political headlines this morning, the United next. Nations confirming what many already believe to next. be true. UN inspectors say their investigation in Syria concludes chemical weapons were Let's used in the conflict. Fox Pull News out. senior correspondent Eric Sean has the details. And there is now back. clear and convincing evidence chemical weapons mm -hmm. were used in Syria last month, Losing specifically super. the deadly gas sarin. This, according to the UN investigation, carried out after the August 21st We're attack near Damascus, right which the U.S. said killed sick. hundreds. The UN report is the first official confirmation of chemical weapons use in the more than two-year-long civil war. United Nations you have Secretary a tag at General the end of this package, Trendy. says the report makes for, quote, chilling reading. 85% of Super. the blood samples tested positive Losing for sarin. Ban called the evidence of sarin overwhelming and indisputable. The findings are beyond doubt and beyond the pale. This is a war crime and grave violation of the 1925 protocol and other rules of international law. The investigators did not specify who did it. They were not required to under their mandate. United States Ambassador to the U.N. Samantha Power has long said About 30 our government seconds. believes the Syrians are responsible. The technical details of the U.N. report there goes the CG. make clear that only the regime <sighs> could have carried out this large-scale chemical Syria weapons down. attack. The Security Syria. Council will now consider a resolution ordering Syria Super. to give up and destroy its chemical Ones weapons. Next. That, based on Standard the framework out, agreed you. upon by Secretary of State John Kerry and Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov, but with Damascus claiming victory and the rebels feeling sold out, there's a feeling here that that is not certain. At the United Nations, I'm Eric Sean, Fox News. Well, this report coming as a UN war well, crimes panel next. is looking into Prompt 14 working, suspected chemical weapons cool. attacks Thanks. in Syria. Tyler? Thank you, Freddie. 612 now, waking up here on a Tuesday morning around the Midlands. Uh, not too bad, a little chilly. I don't mind it. It's good sleeping weather. 
Kind of whether you want to maybe just Super's up. snooze. 70, pretty much all around the Horn of the west and north uh, and south of us. I mean, Orange, Rayake, and Newberry, Winsboro. 73 Box in Columbia. Box in 30, 30 away. Morning. Visibility is still 10 miles, although there's going to be some reports of fog coming in. Is there still moisture in the air? Had a few passing sprinkles in the overnight. You can see them there, Sprinkle. certainly over in the uh, southwest area of the Midlands and a few other places. Canton saw a little bit as well. That's going to continue as this unstable weather pattern comes in, bringing us some cooler 15. weather. Yes, cooler weather. We'll that sky cam it. seems very, very plain. Nice uh, 72 by 7, 73 uh, by 8, and by 9, 72 degrees for you kids going to school. We're going to top out, guys, at about 80 Four, degrees today. Three, yeah, about 20% chance two, of rain, though, Friday. So up. overall, not too bad. But again, the key word is One's cooler. One's up next. You know what, Tyler? I'll take it because it's not 95 or 100 degrees. I'll take that all day, man. All right, man. Thanks for oh, that. God. Well, a real-life Spider-Man climbs a very tall building in China. And if take that wasn't impressive enough, Wait until you see how he got down. Really open Stay indeed. tuned. That story and more coming up after the break. You're watching Good Day Open's Columbia up. with Janet Parker, Tyler Ryan, Friendly Clairvaux, Weather with meteorologist Garrett Meadenball. Start your day the local way with Good Day Columbia. We're break in three, two, one. We're at break in 14.